Hail everybody. It's a wonder I could find it, but been right there for a long time. We'll uh, make our way out through the debris here. And I've got to find my four pound hammer. Uh, these cable cutters here, they're uh, designed to use a four pound sledge. And I have a four pound sledge. I guess I'm going to have to shut you guys off and locate it. Okay, I found all my stuff. This is my four pound sledge. It was an eight pounder at one time. I put it in the lathe, shortened it up. All the years I logged, I had that sitting in my truck along with that behind the seat. And this may not work that good because this actually is uh, a little springy and it won't like that. But we'll uh, see what we can do, see if this thing does it in a few hits or a dozen. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's going to be pretty springy, but we'll try it. I'll probably end up picking it up off the ground. Oh, it made a good dent in it. If I'd have hit it square, it might have gone. There we go. Would have gone the first hit if I'd have got it square. fine cable it actually doesn't like but that's all it is for the business end pretty simple it's just a guillotine like it goes between two anvils it does a pretty decent job we'll just put some black tape on that and yeah nothing to it so that's a hand cable cutter um, I don't remember now who makes that um, Impact Cable Cutter, Model 1. And I don't know who made it. must be on the other side. I guess I'm going to have to go inside. Yeah, so this is an Impacto. Um, so, okay, Impacto Cable Cutter Model 1. And it was made by the M.W. Robinson Company, Rockfall, Connecticut. Anyway, I've had it for years. It's probably close to 40 years old, maybe more bought it when I was around 20 years old and I'm 59 now so you can do the math you know a few years old and I've never broke a, a, a blade or an anvil in it you can buy the replacements um, I want to come on out here and show you the cables after I, I tightened them up this morning um, it's getting dark I know but hopefully you'll be able to see but yeah, as you can see, they're pretty darn tight now. Um, I went in about an inch on that knot, so it's not compressed all the spring, but it's got a good bit of tension on it. That'll take the shock loads when you go in and gauge the belts. Um, I know a lot of people there, they run them on a straight solid shaft and run the cables kind of slack, but it makes for a jerky, jerky carriage there when you're trying to saw. So anyway, yeah, so this is all got a lot of good tension. Um, 
yeah somebody asked about a thimble on that um i didn't have one on it before and it never bothered there's really not any motion to it and there's not a lot of load either that's on the gig back all you're doing is dragging it back um, your real load comes in on the pole when you're pulling into the cut and then there's not a lot a lot of load really um so anyway yeah so that cut real good um it doesn't like this real real fine stuff you take a 5 8 cable hit it about five times and it'll cut it and you just tip the thing up and the anvil and the, the blade there the guillotine pat will just fall right out this stuff here it's so fine that it clogs it all up that's why i had to beat it a little bit to get it to come apart um, it's not made for that lighter stuff but anyway it'll work hope you enjoyed if you've never seen one of them um anyway that's gonna be it for today um yeah if you like this sort of thing hit the like button don't hesitate to subscribe i'd appreciate it talk to you later well this right here is that end of the house that i've been repairing of course i still got to paint that window trim green and do a little scraping up there i got some paint that i took off when i took out the actual trim boards i still got a little bit over there to finish but i ran out of uh, plain clapboards i gotta go down in my stockpile and grab four or five of them plane them tomorrow morning put some stain on the front and back and put them up so that's coming along good um i've put my second coat on haul down through here up here you can see the nails and stuff i still got a this here was some that I primed last winter in the shop and the, they got a little smoked up, you know, just from cutting torches and stuff. That's why they're a little yellow, but uh, they are primed front and back. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and get a coat of paint on that tomorrow and finish that up and get a coat of paint on that. And this end here will be done, all except for caulking that piece of trim right there. So, yeah, we're gaining and I was hoping, actually, I'm out here standing outside. I was hoping the moon was going to come up, but it ain't come up yet. 